Um, let me shift it into high gear and see if that's... Whoa, that's just made it a lot faster. Well, I don't think that was supposed to happen. The camera's... Yeah, yeah, just no go. I think we're done fucked up. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and I'm back. Yes, I should have made this video a long long time ago. Don't shout at me, I'm making it today. And we're going to be checking out some of the new mods that have been added to SnowRunner. But you can see I've gone ahead and downloaded some for us to check out today. We're going to be going through all the mods so I'm not going to do them all in today's video. It's going to take place over multiple videos. So today I've just found some that I thought looked quite cool. So we've got a few maps in there and a few new cars to check out. So let's just hop straight into it with one of the new maps and one of the new cars. Okay, and here we are with our first vehicle. It's called the Yerf Dog 3203 and you can see it's kind of like an off-road buggy, like an off-road go-kart type thing. And we're also here in a brand new map as well, which we're going to check out in a minute. But I think this thing has some customization, so let's just have a look at that first. In the engine options, we can fit this thing with a Subaru 9 horsepower engine. It doesn't actually change the look of the engine any, but we can go ahead and do that. In the gearbox options, we can go for custom Mo gears. I guess that makes it go a lot faster. Um, it isn't really changing anything in there, but I'm going to go for that option. It sounds kind of interesting. We can't upgrade the suspension, but it is like an off-road buggy thing, so that's kind of to be expected. There is a few tyre options, surprisingly. So we've got these 16 inch um, kind of road tyres similar to what we get on the Hummer. We've got a few different versions of those. Then we've got the off-road tyres, like really thick mud bogging kind of tyres. Then we've got the actual mud tyres there, kind of similar to what we get on most of the Scout vehicles. And then we have actually got chain tyres for this thing, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how bad this track is, so I'm going to go with uh maybe hmm we'll go with mud tires just to be on the safe side i've never checked out this map so i have no idea what to expect um the winch i guess we'll go for the autonomous scout just in case we flip over um but we have got the stock scout on there the spare wheel we can go ahead and actually remove that but i think it looks pretty cool with it the rim options we can change those up I guess they look a bit more go-kart-ish, so we'll do that. And then you can actually kind of change the colour of this thing a little bit. So you can go for like the red or like the brown and white is kind of standard. What options do we have down here? So we've got some more two-tone. You can go for blue, you can go for like red and green, you can go for the silver, you can go for like a rusty red, you can go for black, or you can go for like a dark blue. Um, I know I go for it a lot, but I actually think like a red or an orange. Orange looks pretty cool with this. I think maybe we'll go for a red today. We've not really done many red builds so far. And then we've got interior and exterior customization for this thing. But it's not actually letting me change any of those because it doesn't really have an exterior or an interior. That is the thing sort of fully customized. Not a whole lot we can really do with it. But let's take it outside and have a look at this new map. Okay, so here we are at this new map. I've just come out of the garage, which is where it spawns you just over there, that big shed. The camera's being a bit funky today. And this is kind of like an off-road racetrack kind of map. Um, it's very small, as you can see. It's not the largest map, but it is kind of like a little racetrack so it goes down here there's a couple of jumps it goes around the corner there there's like another jump around the corner to here is another jump and it goes up here round there down there back to the start line so not a massive thing um not like a massive track this is supposed to be like a main road 
that goes past here. We've got a twin steer down here for some reason. It's kind of funny. Okay, we're on the start line. I don't know how it's going to handle these jumps, but let's just go in three, two, one. Pedal to the metal. I don't know if we're going to need to switch this up to high gear later or what. I don't know how fast this buggy is or oh, how uncontrollable it is. It isn't the most controllable thing. It has very quick steering and it is very, very light. Um, it does struggle to get going a little bit, which is kind of weird. Oh, and it feels very, very floppy and oversteery. Going over these jumps is terrifying. It nearly did a front flip there. What's kind of funny though is for the first time we can actually see our character because um, usually he's inside the truck and you can't really see the character, but now you can see what he looks like. He looks like a pretty cool lumberjack guy. Oh. I've just crashed into a rock, but I just fucked that so hard. I feel like something a bit faster would be suited to this track more. I mean, this thing's pretty fast once you get it going. And then it does that. And now I can't get it in reverse. Come on. I don't think the off-road tyres were really necessary here. Um, it's not really that thick of mud. Um, let me shift it into high gear see if that's whoa that's just made it a lot faster well i don't think that was supposed to happen the camera's yeah yeah just no go i think we're done fucked up and here we are in our second map now this is a pretty cool looking map actually we're here in the hummer h2 that is the sort of start vehicle it gives you and let me just open up the map here so you can see it you can see this one is called canadian runner and this map is called the town now the mod creators of this mod um have said that there's going to be multiple different maps you can see this is the first map that it loads you into called the town but there's going to be many more maps that you can travel to and they're all going to be connected via gateways like the actual snowrunner maps are which is really really cool there's loads of watchtowers to go and discover and as you can see this is a much much bigger map than the previous one so that's always really really cool it says over here tires and mechanic Bulldog? Bulldog? I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing that's where the garage is. So our first task is going to be to see if we can get to the garage in this new map. Uh, we have now reached a bridge to the town, but the bridge is broken. And I don't really have any kind of trucks to go and fix this. I have no idea where the garage is. That is probably the garage just right there. So maybe if we can cross this river, I can have a look if that is the garage over there. Okay, I think I found the crossing point here. It's showing up on the map as like a possible crossing point. Um, the Hummer has no upgrades, so I'm just gonna have to go carefully here. There is a truck that we can go and rescue in the future. Um, do not get stuck, Hummer. Come on. After much searching, I have managed to find the garage. Here it is right here. we got the trailer store. It's basically the same looking as every other garage, but I have to say I'm really enjoying this map so far. Let's go ahead and move to the garage. We've now discovered the garage. We have infinite amount of credits, as you can see, because we're on a modded map. And we have some new vehicles to check out. And the first one I want to check out is pretty cool. And here it is right here. We've got a tank. Yes, it has Tega wheels on the side of it. So you know it's going to have insane off-road capability. It's called the Pogrim IS2M181. So we actually have um, like a moving turret on this. Whichever way you go... Whichever way you turn the wheels, the turret turns, which is fantastic. I love that. It has permanent diff lock turned on. All the wheels steer, which is really amusing to me. I mean, it sounds pretty similar to the APC. I imagine underneath it probably is just the APC. 
um, but I have to say this thing is absolutely fantastic it looks incredible in this setting as well with the kind of like off-road rustic looking village a tank driving through looks really cool I will say though it is a little bit difficult to sort of control um, if you're not used to that kind of thing let's go ahead and put all-wheel drive on you can see it locks all the wheels which is hilarious okay it looks like we're gonna have our first opportunity to test out how good this thing really is the bridge is out I'm wondering if we can just drive around here to the left a little bit and just drive up the other banking let's test it out in this new tank boy because I feel like this thing is capable the wheels are actually pretty small on this thing, but well, here we go. How deep can we go? Not too deep. We don't want to be going right under like we just did, but you can see the capability of this thing. It is absolutely immense. If you want to, you know, smash your way through SnowRunner, then having a vehicle like this, you're going to be able to complete every contract mission you want to. I believe it can tow trailers as well. So that's pretty funny and um, it does have like winch points and stuff on it okay we've had a bit of fun with the tank the final thing that I want to have a look at today one more vehicle and this is a pretty funny looking vehicle but it does look like a lot of fun and I want to check it out okay here we go we're outside in our mini Julie Tuz 166 this thing looks hilarious it's wanting to tip over quite a lot now there is a lot of tyre options you can get on this thing, you can have it as just a normal four wheeler if you want to, you can basically apply every tyre model that we have in the game to this vehicle, but I think the Julie look on this thing, the small front tyres and the dual rear tyres, it just looks absolutely hilarious but fantastic at the same time. I wish this was a real thing in SnowRunner, but now with the power of mods we can get things like this. And that is why I'm so glad that mods have finally made it into SnowRunner. And I believe this thing can actually tow trailers, which is pretty funny. Now, the only thing that I found a bit interesting with this mod is the camera angle seems to be a little bit strange. When you kind of zoom around, the pivot point for the camera seems to be on the tow bar you can see there. So... I don't know why that is it's not the worst thing in the world it just makes the camera movements a little bit funky sometimes and I have to say to all the mod creators out there the mods that I've tested so far have been absolutely fantastic I'm sure along the way we'll probably have some problems it's not really a fault of the modders it's just what happens when you try to do crazy shit in a game that's not really meant for it and I've also completely buggered that but that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy taking a look at some of these SnowRunner mods with us. We're going to be doing loads more of these kind of videos in the future. So if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And if you did enjoy, I'd appreciate you dropping a like and share the video with your friends. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.